should you buy the new and up and coming Call of Duty Vanguard? If you want the short and sweet answer, the answer is no, you shouldn't. That's it. Unlike the review I gave bleeding Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, this is not so positive and so far we've only had a beat. Now don't get me wrong, it can improve. I can't see it improving too much unless they add some necessary things. And obviously the main culprit of not many people enjoying COD lately is SBMM, other words known as skill based matchmaking. Now there are a lot of pros to this game but I feel like the cons of it really outweigh the pros and I'm gonna get into the pros of the game first. The first one I want to talk about is it runs on the same engine as Modern Warfare 2019 and as you know that's probably the best engine we've had so far for COD. It runs nicely, it feels nice, we have a lot more new mechanics, albeit the mountain and blind fire isn't necessarily what a lot of people enjoy because we know it's going to interrupt the camo grind, we know that for a fact, especially the blind fire shots, we know that's going to do something about it. And it's also not many people really use it. We have normal sprinting as you'd expect and then we have tactical sprint being brought back as you'd expect being on the Modern Warfare in 2019 engine. The gameplay I can for a fact tell that it does play a lot faster than Modern Warfare 2019 and I, I feel like a bit slower than Cold War. Now that could be because I played a lot of Nuketown most of the time because the rest of the maps I weren't really a big fan of but it definitely does play faster than Modern Warfare. Is that a reason you should buy the game? Not necessarily. Another pro in getting this game or just playing this game in general is once again the create a class customization. You can now have up to 10 attachments on your gun which is, I mean, it's good. It's just half the time it's not going to be useful. Unless you just want to go for some over the top extreme slowest types of guns, fastest types of guns or just do stuff like that. I don't really see 10 attachments being too necessary. Considering you can also use two sort of extras like the speed up shit and stuff like that. It is a handy feature. That unfortunately are all the pros I can see of this game. Like I said at the start the cons do heavily outweigh the pros and I'm gonna get into them right now. The first con that really hit me hard when I was playing the game, you know you want a fast paced game, you want people to actually engage in fighting and whatnot. One problem I have with the game is that there's no way as of right now to run and reload at the same time. Now Sledgehammer last time they done it and run and reload and they had it as sort of like a little perk and if you knew what that was it was Hustle in World War 2 I believe or whatever the fuck the game was called. That's what it was. I think running and reloading should just be a given in any card game that shouldn't need a fucking perk to do. That's definitely one thing that halts, you know, the aggressive pushing style, you know, because you, if you can't run and reload, so like you could either reload, get shot in the back and you're done, exactly. or you can run around the corner, start reloading, and then have people push you. So being able to run and reload, you know, to get away from fire when you have no ammo currently in the mind that you're shooting, it is a big plus, but it's not in the game yet. I'm hoping to see it implemented, especially with the engine that the game is currently running on. And if it's not, then that's a big smack in the bollocks. Another con that I see is there's no FOV slider. Coming from the engine that Black Ops Cold War ran on, it's arguably a worse engine than the Modern Warfare engine. It's not as fluid, it doesn't feel as good. I was expecting this game to have an FOV slider, like the game felt very fucking clunky without it. And I don't even know how I played Modern Warfare without an FOV slider. And I thought the FOV slider was fantastic in Cold War because inevitably it's gonna make a game better. It's gonna make it feel better for most people. So if they don't add one for this game, it's also a massive kick in the bollocks. Especially coming off a game for the whole year that's had one. Another con that I see with the game is they've once again gone back to the stupid way that Modern Warfare has started of not having red dots appear on the minimap unless you have a fucking perk that does it for you. I think that's absolutely bizarre. It's called Radar. Now everybody be like, oh shit, we can actually see red dots on the minimap if we do something. But I don't think it should be a requirement to have a perk to allow you to see people not using a fucking suppressor when they're just being ridiculously loud. I just think that's a bit stupid. Speaking of things being ridiculously loud, I'd like to comment on the lack of sound in the game. 
there's been times where people have literally been sprinting all around me apparently and I couldn't hear a single footstep. Now when I'm saying sprinting I'm talking about full on tactical sprint, boots on metal, wood, whatever they're running on and I can't hear a single thing. But don't get me wrong, it'd be nice to not be overly loud but it'd be nice to be loud enough so people can actually hear you. Because there's been countless times where I've been killed from someone behind and I didn't hear a single thing from them. Like not even a door open, not an absolute whimper of a boot on the floor. And that's going to be a big problem for a lot of people. Now obviously, we're always going to talk about the problem that I'm going to talk about now and it's skill based matchmaking like I, you know, said at the start. It's the main culprit as to why people aren't having fun on COD as much anymore. I know I'm not having fun on COD as much anymore. I don't understand why the developers or Activision can see skill based matchmaking is driving away a lot of the hardcore fans. Yeah you're bringing in a lot of sales from all the shitty fucking players. But you're driving away such a large portion of the fan base just because you're too stubborn to remove something or at least tone it back. Because there was claims that Black Ops 1, I think it was, had skill-based matchmaking, but we didn't feel it as much. Why not revert back to that skill-based matchmaking? Why not revert back to the skill-based matchmaking that was in Black Ops 3 or 4 or any other card previously before Modern Warfare? Because as of right now, absolutely nobody's enjoying it. To put the long story short, do I think this game is worth getting? Unless I see a lot of improvements, which in... To be honest with you, Sledgehammer are good at making changes. They've done a lot on COD World War II. You know, they've done a whole revamp of their like sort of division system and stuff like that. So they definitely could make a lot of changes. It's just for the time being, would I recommend pre-ordering the game? Even though I have only purely to make this video and hopefully see changes, I would not recommend pre-ordering or even buying the game for the time being. I would wait, however after you know everything is finished you know all the betas so yeah that's my review or my take on whether you should or should not buy this game as you can see i have very little fucking hope mainly because they won't revert back to their old ways they're consistently going back to the stupid idea of the minimap and obviously skill based matchmaking one thing actually they did get right was the score streaks or this not score streaks kill streaks you now actually have to earn them you don't get them by fucking gradually getting score built up and you can earn more than one set in a life which is brilliant. Finally they've reverted back to the proper ways of score streaks. I keep saying fucking score streaks. Back to the proper ways of kill streaks. However the death machine needs to be fucking nerfed. I am telling you you shoot the wall and it does more damage than it does when you actually hit someone. Anyway that's going to do it for this video. If you want to leave your opinions down in the comments below. You know this is, like I said, just an easy take on how the bait is so far. There is another weekend that starts on the 16th and ends on Monday, I believe. Probably 6 o'clock Monday, UK time, Irish time, whichever you want to say. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, do leave a like. If you want to see more content like this or content in general, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.